Oceaner, and this is your move of the week. It's, I got hit my head too much today. It is gonna be Christmas this weekend, so I wanna make sure that I wish Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. All my friends throughout the world, especially in Brazil, and that's about it. And today we're gonna address the mount when the guy is really tight defending. It's that way. The correct way to defend here, right, is look, if you notice, Graham brings everything compressed up into a crunch and keeps his elbows in. That can be a problem to get a guy to open up. <clears throat> the first thing I always want to do is I always want to establish a really good mount. So until it's time for me to attack, I, I like to turn their head with good pressure and then I know they can only upa this way. If you guys like the grapevine, I don't like that. I like to cross my feet and put my pelvis forward. But in this position here, now I can ride really well. So as soon as he stops moving, then I'll start to sit up and start assessing the situation here. So if the guy's really tight like this, and he's doing a good defense like this, he's, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. But his top arm is gonna be the most susceptible. What I'm gonna do, I can't do that grip. But I'm gonna make a, a fork grip like this, and I'm gonna grab it by the tricep. And I'm gonna start to kick my foot forward already, and then start to drive his arm away with my hips. All right, that's one thing you can do. So, he's tight, he's very strong. Maybe two arms versus one arm won't work. So I'm gonna use my hips. I'm gonna kick forward, and then look how my foot feet is set up. I'm sitting completely on him. I gotta watch out for my legal grip. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to wiggle forward and use my hips to push his elbow away so that I can wrap up the wrist and then sit back. Okay, that's one way and pry his arm away with my hips. Another way the guy's crossed up like this, you guys gotta reach back here and make a little ramp with his, with the lapel. Look, watch. Right? And then I got my double attack on my arm lock, on my choke. So, these are just a couple ideas for you. The guy covered up tight. Once again, look. See how it makes like a little ramp? And I only need a little bit of exposure. I also, he's gonna be bucking. I'm gonna have to stay here and stabilize and wait for the right time. I'm gonna sit up, open it really quickly and put my hand in and then lean immediately to the same side as my hand. If I stay in line, I'll go on bottom. So, as soon as I open and put my hand and lean over to the same side. If he tries to open it that way now, see I'm hanging off of this side and I'm still keeping all my, my hips tight, my legs tight, I got toes on the floor, I got base here. When I'm ready, look, I already got my hand deep, now I can start to work. A double attack on my my arm attack, all right? Some, uh, that's enough for today. <laughs> so that's a couple ideas for you. For prying the guy loose when he's really tight and the mount keeping his elbows tight. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Have a good one.